Good morning, welcome to the Clinch River Homestead. I'm John. I'm Nicole. And today we vow to never buy bag mulch again. Come along with us, we'll show you how. Hey everybody, good morning. So we're coming to you live from the cab of the uh, 2021 Ram 2500. So we're hooked up to our uh, hydraulic dump trailer and we're heading over to the uh, nursery down the street, North Shore Nursery, right? Yeah. So we're gonna probably get a lot. Yeah. How much? As much as it can fit. Five as much as we could fit. So probably about five yards of mulch. So we're gonna show you the difference in price from bag mulch to buying mulch in bulk come on for the ride all right so as we're pulling out of our uh, as we're pulling out of our area here that we keep the trailer I'm reminded on the reason of why we needed to make that apron much wider uh, and that's because the trailer used to roll off the edge of the apron as we were uh, pulling it out the trailer that we're pulling behind us here uh, we actually got here in Tennessee um, because we were gonna be using it for situations like this. And we had a bunch of trash out where the house is going. So we were going to uh, start hauling the trash away. But when we found out how inexpensive it was gonna be for them to do it, uh, it was kind of a no brainer for us to just have those people remove the trash for us. The trailer is a uh, hydraulic trailer. It's uh, twin 5,000 pound axles on it. So I think we can handle about seven, 7,500 pounds in the trailer. And it's a six by 12 trailer. I thought that was gonna be the most uh, user-friendly size trailer that we could get. And we definitely wanted 18 inch sides on it because you know the, the smaller ones with the 14 or 16 inch sides, they just didn't seem high enough. And then, I don't know, it seemed like if we were to get a bunch of mulch like we are today, then it would be all blowing out and then we would have to put sides on it ourselves. which... We still have the option. We still have the option to put sides on it. Yeah, anyway, it's got a 7,500 pound capacity uh, that we can put in it. So I think that's gonna be plenty enough. And five yards of mulch doesn't weigh five tons. So I think it's about uh, 800 to 1,200 pounds on average for a yard of mulch. So, um, yeah, so put five yards of mulch in it, we're not even close to our uh, capacity of the trailer. And um, having the dumping feature is really, really nice. So we used to just pile it in the back of the pickup truck before, right, hon? Yeah, but you can, people can still do that. You don't need a dump trailer. Oh yeah, you don't need a dump trailer. We, we just would load up our, um, the back of the pickup truck. Yeah. Anyway, we're almost there at the North Shore Nursery. So once we get there, I'm gonna go in and pay for everything. And uh, then we'll come back at you when we're loading up and we'll show you how much the thing can hold. So John's going in to pay for five yards. All right, so we're just leaving uh, North Shore Nursery and uh, we got five yards of mulch. I was gonna get four, but Miss here wanted five, right? I want more. We can't have enough mulch. But I think one more yard. We won't be able to fit. We're not gonna fit another yard in we it. We already did that once and it was like, whoa, it's overflowing. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you guys saw what was in it. Yeah. So, oh, and the other thing is, what I wanna talk to you about the price. I'm gonna put a picture up of the receipt of the uh, purchase for five yards of mulch. And then you'll see the difference. And then I'm gonna put a picture up of the uh, price of what it is for a bag of mulch. And then I'm gonna add up all those bags of mulch for you oh. and tell you <laughs> what it would be if I did the same amount in bags of mulch. You'll be very surprised. So anyway. So I did wanna to touch on one thing about uh, don't let this intimidate you uh, if you're a person that only has a pickup truck 
like we said earlier, we used to do this with our Ram 1500, so it's plenty well doable, and I'm gonna tell you, it's easy to shovel it out of the back of the truck because you're shoveling down into something. You're not shoveling up into something. So because of that, I think it, it's so much easier um, just to get the mulch in bulk in the bed of your truck as versus hauling around 40 pound bags of mulch all over the place. I think that's more back breaking and then you can just put everything into a wheelbarrow and wheelbarrow it to where you need to and you're not really using that much uh, strength. You're using more legs than anything um, when you're doing it that way. So don't let it intimidate you and you know saying well I don't really need that much if you got a quarter acre of land and you got a little spot hey if you got less than a quarter acre but you just have a little spot that you can set aside for some mulch especially nowadays with gardening and you're going to use mulch everywhere in a garden and with coronavirus and all that a lot of people started gardening if you can put aside just a little bit of your land to just pile that mulch in you'll always have it when you need it and cover it and cover it but you're going to pay pennies on the dollar for the mulch as opposed to hauling it away in bags all the time and you're only going to need to do it once or twice versus every time you need something you're running to the store grabbing a ten dollar bag of mulch all right so we just got back to the house well uh to the property here and we're gonna head up and i guess this is going to be the hardest part now is because we never really thought about where we we're going to put it yet so we think we know but um so Nicole's gonna get out and try to guide me back into that spot, and I think we're gonna put it right over there. So we're gonna be putting, trying to get that mulch over there. We don't wanna block any of our uh, drainage. And uh, we're gonna be using this anyway on the entire orchard because we need to cover up the uh, terraces, right? Yeah, and terraces, um, the blueberries, and strawberries. Strawberries, yeah, we need to finish those strawberries because they're half done. Yeah, <laughs> so, they ran out. Yeah, so we're gonna use all of this. So oh, we're and not, the trees too. The trees, the trees need, need it. it. So we're not worried about blocking any of the terraces because we're gonna use all of it. So, all right, let's see if we can get this done. Some mulch, some mulch. Let's see. So I think we uh, got a good spot right here. It's and then, gonna get in the rocks. It might a little bit, but we're gonna pull forward. So hopefully we'll get most of it right here. But because we're on this big hill sloping this way, I can't have the trailer sideways on that hill. As soon as I put this dump up, it's gonna wanna flip over on it. So, all right. All right, so uh, while I was back here, luckily I heard this abnormal hissing noise. Oh, what could it be? Just my luck. <laughs> right there. And you probably can't fix that because it's right on the sidewall. <sighs> luckily we got home and luckily I saw it. So now at least I know I have to do it. And we've got another tire. At that place. Probably, but we got another tire, so at least we're not going to be dead in the water. We can still move it, but we can't haul anything right, with it. Okay. All right, everyone. Well, we just got home. It's probably like 11 o'clock right now, so I think we showed you everything we need to and our reasoning behind never going back to bag mulch, wouldn't you say? Yeah, other than the nail on the tire, well, but we have an extra one. Yeah, so if you get a nail on your tire, there's not much you can do about that, but fix it. Mm -hmm. But we're probably gonna have to replace that. Anyway, if you liked the video today and you'd like to see more content like this in the future, subscribe to the channel, hit that thumbs up button, and tick that little bell. You'll get notified on all of our videos, future videos, just like this one, and many more to come. So uh, thanks everybody for watching the Clinch River Homestead. We'll see you on the next one. See ya.